This partnership marks a significant milestone for Alliance Block, right? Um, ABO Digital, and if you're wondering about them, they are um, an alternative financing solution to cryptocurrency projects around the world. They're also a private investment firm of the uh, Alpha Blue Ocean Group. Now, it says in regards to this partnership with them, um, the industry as a whole is demonstrating their commitment as an alliance block to innovation, compliance, and risk management. So let's jump into this. And here we go. So as you can see right here, this comes straight from CoinDesk. Um, it is recent news. So if you're wondering, like, do you have anything fresh for me, Max, in regards to alliance block, Nexera, here it is. So Alliance Block ABO Digital to offer tokenized structured products. This should make you feel bullish on if you kept your ALBT, especially if you got your airdropped, your Nexera. So the tokens will give traditional finance investors a compliant way to back crypto projects. Now, what is this all about? When we get further into it, it says that, you know, they formed the bridges as we know, with traditional finance and so on, Alliance Block, right? That's what stands out for them. But look at this partnership. The partnership formed with this investment firm of ABO Digital to offer institutional and retail investors a compliant way of backing crypto projects through tokenization. What is another example of that? Well, obviously, ELCX. But you're going to see a common trend when it comes to the tokenization of anything and everything of value, all right? So the tie-in comes as tokenized assets continue to gain steam or go a little bit more mainstream. We're not there yet, but man, when people say we're so early, here's the perfect example of just that. So earlier this year, for example, investment firm Hamilton Lane offered tokenized exposure to one of his funds. If you want to take that deep dive into that, you're more than welcome to. Uh, there's a link there to that. But um, in regards to this specifically, the structured products under the Alliance Block ABO Digital Partnership will offer, like it says, uh, alternative fundraising options for crypto projects such as issuing tokens to market makers or even venture capitalists. Opportunity is the key takeaway here, right? Projects can also access liquidity from institutional investors. Now, I want to throw this into the mix. As you guys know, I covered, for instance, Clearpool like over 30 times, did over 30 videos for it and so on. This is long before I came into uh, here, you know, over at CTM with Larry. But it kind of reminds me of that to a sense, right? You, you provide liquidity to various different projects. Why? because if anything, they need to raise capital. I love the idea that Alliance Block is recognizing that. Now, at the same time, you can get in trouble with some of these particular things, but have enough faith and understanding of what Alliance Block, excuse me, Alliance Block has to offer that I think they're going to be more than all right. Now, ABO Digital, if you're wondering, the digital asset investment arm of ABO Group uh, which offers private financing for publicly traded companies, will help negotiate and structure the financial instruments based on the project's capital and liquidity goals. So, again, I know, you know I mentioned the whole thing like with Clearpool, but it's kind of like they're teaming up with a Clearpool-esque type of um, organization, right? This particular one, because that's their expertise, but they bring that layer, right, to Alliance Block. That's key. And that in itself, guys, I'm telling you flat out, is big because now Alliance Block is expanding into a whole other realm on top of all the other utility they currently already have. I like this. This is bullish. So Alliance Block will tokenize the assets and turn them to compliant actively managed certificates, which is a type of structured product that lets an investor track and even benefit from underlying asset without having direct ownership. Are you not interested yet? You should be. With our combined effort, we aim to be 
to bring a fresh perspective to the world of decentralized and even traditional finance and attract more institutional capital providers. ABO Digital CEO uh, Amine Neja said in a press release, I might not be pro pronouncing that right. Here's the thing. On the surface, at the very, very beginning, when Alliance Blocks you know, started, they stood out as being what? That bridge between traditional finance and decentralized. Combine that with what you saw mentioned here, it makes sense that they would team up with ABO Digital to get this done. Like it says, um, the whole thing to basically bring a fresh perspective to the world of decentralized and traditional finance and attract more institutional capital providers. And when they attract more and more of those providers, that's more and more volume coming in. That is more and more, as the saying goes, into, when we talk about institutional money coming in, here's a perfect example of that. Combine that with some of the things that are coming out here soon. We're getting that regulatory clarity. And oh my goodness, watch out for Alliance Block to absolutely just go berserk, in my opinion, not financial advice. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have not yet subscribed, do yourself a favor and subscribe for more information on the ISO 222 compliant tokens and hit the notification bell to make sure that you are aware of the new videos when they come up. Max and I cover these ISOs and we also have a live show every single night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you tune in for that. You won't want to miss it. Thanks again, and we will see you on the next video.